ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns, tomatoes. <laughs> oh my, Halloween is here. This Halloween, while your kids are out gathering this, make sure that they don't eat any of their candy until they get home. Once they do get home with everything, check through all the wrappers to make sure none of them are opened and there's no puncture holes on any of the wrappers. Also make sure anything that's homemade, like candied apples or cookies, are from a trusted house or someone that you know. <laughs> Most of the candy that your kids will get this Halloween will be this fun size or this small size um, candy, bar, candy bars. So just remember, these are great and they're a great alternative to a full size candy bar, but you still have to watch portion sizes. Two of the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups equals a full size candy bar. Four of these little packages of Whoppers is a full-size candy bar. Same with the Kit Kat, three of those, or two Almond Joys. They both equal one full-size candy bar. So it's a better alternative to put all of the chocolate kind of candy in a large bag and put it in the freezer. Take out four or five pieces for the week for your child. That way they can have one piece every day. They still get to enjoy their candy, but you get to monitor their portion size. Instead of letting your kids eat all of their candy from their jack-o'-lantern in one night, it's a great alternative to freeze some of the candy, especially the chocolate, or to portion it out in individual portions into a sandwich bag, to put it out of sight so, and just kind of divvy it out to your kiddos whenever they need a piece of candy, and maybe one piece at a time. And parents, remember, that goes for you too, because I know all this candy is really <laughs> tempting.